we found a um, th the non-U.S. market to be a, a ripe, um, I guess, a uh, place for us to harvest returns that you um, that help diversify a portfolio away from traditional U.S. securities, particularly in the government market. There's a lot of things you can do in the spread sectors and the non-government market within the U.S. Uh, within the government market, we're not big fans of U.S. Treasury securities for a number of reasons. So. Once you step outside the U.S., um, particularly in emerging markets, uh, we have been active in adding exposure um, within our multi-sector funds within emerging markets. Now, we do have an overall concern about what might happen if there is an economic global um, slowdown and what capital flight from some of these emerging market countries might mean in an, uh, for some of these uh, securities which have only experienced inflow so far. But having said that, we do find specific opportunities, for example, in the shorter parts of curves um, in countries like Argentina or Venezuela. We think some of the developments out of Russia uh, on the quasi-sovereign side are very attractive. So we selectively pick our spots. We're not tied to an index. We can opportunistically go into the emerging market areas where we find opportunity. On the developed side, and I use developed loosely, but uh, on, you know, on the European side, uh, we've yet to take a big position um, or really a position, meaningful position at all in some of the battered peripheral European countries. Um, they've done well, and, uh, but still, you know, at this point, we still think there's a lot of risk that remains there, and we're, we're happy to, to stay on the sidelines and watch that for now.